Welcome to the Hockey Guy Hall of Fame, Marty Jalina. All right, that's it. Good night, everybody. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, he was the number seven pick of the LA Kings in 1988, uh, and he wouldn't play a game for them. Because the big thing happened August 9th of 1988, so less than two months after he's drafted by the Kings, he ends up going to Edmonton with uh, Jimmy Carson, three first-round picks, and going to LA, some guy named Gretzky, Marty McSorley, and Mike Krzyzewski. So this trade kind of becomes what Jalen is known as his rookie year. Uh, six games, one goal, two assists for him that first year. And everywhere you go, you hear Jelena was one of the guys you got in the Gretzky trade because it's the biggest trade in hockey history. 1989-1990, uh, 46 games played, 17 goals, 8 assists, 25 points. He looked solid, and then he was part of the famed kid line in Edmonton that won the Stanley Cup in 1990 with Joe Murphy and Adam Graves. Um, I'm surprised I still remember that. Anyways... Uh, so they won that Stanley Cup, and Jelena played a supporting role in that. That would be his only Stanley Cup, and that was while he was still a rookie. Um, he, good support guy, as I said, part of that kid line that was underrated and, and played quite well for Edmonton, played a key role at certain points in certain series. And then in 1991, he has his first 20-goal season, 73 games played, 20 goals, 20 assists, 40 points. And then it kind of regresses for him, 91-92. 68 games played, 11 goals, 18 assists, 29 points. He doesn't take that step forward as expected. Being a number seven overall pick doesn't necessarily mean you're a superstar, but there's pressure on you to become a star player at some level. Um, 92, 93, 65 games played, 11 goals, 12 assists, 23 points. Uh, June 20th of 1993, the Edmonton Oilers trade to Jelena and a sixth-round pick to the Quebec Nordiques for Scott Pearson. I know that's Colorado Avalanche, but that's who the Quebec Nordiques are now, so it's not a big deal because he only played 31 games that following season for Quebec, six goals, six assists, and they waived him. They were trying to send him to the American League, and the Vancouver Canucks said, uh, we'll take Marty Jelena. Could use another goal scorer. Uh, the Canucks were in the midst of a down season compared to their previous two. The Canucks won, the or won their division in 92 and 93. 94, they're in a, a down year. They only finished one game above 500 that year. Jelen only played 33 games in the regular season, 8 goals and 8 assists, 16 points. Then there's the Stanley Cup final run. But I will get to that. So he ends up in the finals in 94. 94-95, 46 games played, 13 goals, 10 assists, 23 points. And he's firmly established as one of my favorite players. 95-96, uh, 81 games played, 30 goals, 26 assists, 56 points. That's his first 30-goal season. And at that point, I'm like, all right, so this guy has to retire a Canuck, right? Because he's fantastic. Jelena wasn't the biggest, he wasn't the strongest or anything, but he was an excellent competitor and he could score goals at a key times. And I want to come to those and talk about them all together. 95-96 uh, is followed by a season in 96-97 where he played 74 games, 35 goals, 33 assists, 68 points. So while the Canucks are crashing and burning, and the Canucks at this point are clearly on a downswing, it is not Jelena's fault that they're on that downswing. Absolutely not. 97, 98. I'm already upset because we've seen guys like Browning and 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 Courtnell and others leaving, and now 97, 98 is just a complete. It, it's it's a yard sale in Vancouver. He plays 24 games, four goals, four assists, eight points, and then he's traded to Carolina with Kirk McLean for Sean Burke, Enrico Ciccone, and Jeff Sanderson. Sanderson does not catch on with Vancouver much at all. Doesn't play particularly well. Ends up moving on. Uh, as for Jelena, he plays 40 games with uh, Carolina, 12 goals, 14 assists, 26 points. And uh, this was an unhappy hockey fan at the end of that season uh, because I saw in Carolina he was back. Now, the following season, he plays 76 games, 13 goals, 15 assists, 28 points. So it would appear at that season that maybe Vancouver was smart in trading him. 99-2000, still Carolina, 81 games, 14 goals, 16 assists, 30 points. The thing with Jelen is that when he wasn't scoring, he was still a useful player. He could still play various roles with your team. So even while he wasn't getting all the goals that he'd had here with the 35, he still was productive enough to remain in the lineup, doing other things. 2000-2001, he plays uh, 79 games, 23 goals, 29 assists, 52 points. 2001-2002, he's with a Carolina team that goes to the Stanley Cup Finals. So that's three teams he's gone to the Finals with. It's a rarity. 72 games, 13 goals, 16 assists, 29 points for him that year. He does play a key role in the making to the finals. But 
2002, he signs as an unrestricted free agent with the Calgary Flames. Plays 81 games that first year, 21 goals, 31 assists, 52 points. And now I'm seeing him front row every time, like not literally being there front row, but I mean, against Vancouver, I'm, I'm watching Jelena and I'm just upset as a Canuck fan that he's not still a Canuck. 2003-2004, plays 76 games, 17 goals, 18 assists, 35 points. They go to the Stanley Cup Finals in Calgary. He reaches the Stanley Cup Finals with four different teams. Wins the Stanley Cup with Edmonton. And it is rare to see a guy play in the finals for four different teams. You could qualify him as a jinx, too, because they lost, they lost, and they lost. But I prefer not to look at it that way. The lockout season, he ends up going over and playing a bit in Sweden. And then when he comes back in 2005, he signs with the uh, Florida Panthers on August 2nd. Plays 82 games for them that first year, 17 goals, 24 assists, 41 points. His second season, he plays 82 games, 14 goals, 30 assists, 44 points. Florida decides they're not going to keep him. And uh, July 26, 2007, he's an unrestricted free agent with Nashville. Same place Ronning ended up. Uh, 57 games, 9 goals, 11 assists, and 20 points to finish out his career. Finishes with 1,273 games played, 309 goals, 351 assists for 660 points. He'll never get anywhere near the NHL Hall of Fame. But there are some interesting things with him. Um, 1994 playoffs for the Vancouver Canucks. He scored the game-tying goal in Game 1. The Canucks won that one in overtime and helped propel them to a seven-game series against the Rangers where they pushed them to the limit. It is a game-tying goal by Jelena that helps them get there. In his playoff career, he plays 147 games, 23 goals, 33 assists, 56 points. Six game-winning goals included in those six game-winning goals. 2002, uh, against Toronto in Game 6, he has the overtime game-winner to send Carolina to the Stanley Cup Finals. 2004, for the Calgary Flames, he has an overtime game winner in round one against Vancouver. Round two, he has the overtime game winner to send Calgary to the next round against Detroit. So that's two overtime winners in two series in 2004. And then in uh, round three, he ends up with what is the game-winning goal against San Jose in game six to get to the Stanley Cup final. So that is three series that same season ended by Marty Jelena. So why am I not wearing flames? Because I wanted him to be a Canuck for his whole career. Um, and that's that's just that's just how I feel personally. Um, he he is he's not a player that 20, 30 years from now a lot of people are going to talk about. But uh, for today, I'm throwing him in my Hall of Fame. Uh, he was clutch. He was very clutch. And uh, he was clutch for Carolina. He was clutch for Calgary. And he was important for Vancouver too. And when the Edmonton Oilers won a Stanley Cup in 1990, he was not a passenger. He did play a key role at certain points along the way. Marty Jelena, welcome to the THG Hall of Fame. And I figured now is a good time to do it since the Hall of Fame thing is going on this weekend. We're talking about Hall of Fame inductions for the NHL. I might as well throw somebody else into mine. There you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.